WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. Here the Dow Industrial has finished up 221. NASDAQ up 210. S&P's up 45. Gold. Gold contract down $7.60, trading at 1986 an ounce. You had silver up two cents, twenty-two dollars ninety-eight cents an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, eighty dollars ninety cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, big movement out here, folks. You get the ten-year up twenty-eight ticks. Remember, thirty-two ticks is one full point. You don't see the ten move at thirty-two ticks, <laughs> but uh, guess what? You get twenty-seven today. One oh seven oh one, the thirty up a full point plus twelve ticks at one ten twenty-six in King Dollar. King Dollar just barely positive. It gave it up as soon as Powell came out. And the Fed came out with a statement. Ted, uh, the dollar is up by 10, tick, 10 ticks at 106.673. Euro 105, yen trading at the price point of 150. British pound at 121 to 1 US dollar. If you heard the Fed, folks, bottom line is that, you know, my take is that we're done. We're done. And I, you know, when you take a look at the 10 year, all you take a look at the home builders, look at these home builders, man. These, the, 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 market, the market is going to dictate this deal here. And these home builders took off like a rocket ship once Powell starts speaking. He had, uh, they're all up like 5%. You got Toll Brothers up $3.50. You got wide price spread. You got accelerated volume. You broke the downtrend. And this was, you know, this is a decent downtrend. When we're talking about breaking the downtrend there, you're at 74. Toll Brothers wants to go to 84. You go into Lennar, you're going to see the exact same thing inside Lennar. You know, because what, what you're going to have here is that, oh, look at Lennar. This is even heavier, man. This is a trip. It broke the whole downtrend. Look at this. So in Lennar's case, you're talking 111 to 133. And what you have here, okay, is that bottom line is that if, in fact, the, the Fed's done, well, the way it works is that you get the Fed done, then you stay at a certain point, and then what happens? you start going down. That being said, it's the market that's going to take it down, folks, okay? If we go over to the 10-year right now and take a look at it, what you're going to see is that just as I said a year and a half ago, the bottom line is that the 10-year took the rates up and before three months before the Fed moved, and what you're going to see here is that the 10-year is going to take the rates down before the Fed actually moves, because the Fed probably won't move for four or five months. Right now, the 10 is at 4.75, and we were at 4.99 only 10 days ago. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m.